Welcome to the Solid Support Training Academy short video series. Please follow our LinkedIn page to make sure you don't miss the next one. With the COVID-19 pandemic still affecting Australia in various economic sectors, construction is no exception. Governments from the different states and territories have implemented restrictions on construction activities in some way or the other. As a result, we must communicate how these restrictions have affected the construction program. There are different methods of showing these impacts visually. Each method varies in applicability, complexity, and usefulness. This video is limited to showing you how the software can be harnessed to showing these impacts. Method one, calendars. The state or territory government has issued a general work stoppage order that shuts down construction work on all sites in specific local government areas. You can show the impact of this restriction using a calendars approach. Go to the View tab. Select the Library Explorer command icon. Open the Exceptions folder. Click in a new row and create an exception labeled COVID Site Shutdown. Choose a color and a pattern. In the Library Explorer, go to the Calendar folder, select the affected on-site calendar. Select the days where the site was shut down because of the COVID restrictions. Select Add Exception. Select the exception type as COVID site shut down and exception period as 24 hour exception. Go to the bar chart view. You will see the COVID site shutdown days in a color or pattern selected for the non-working day exception. This is shown in the Gantt chart against the bars that were assigned to the affected on-site calendars. Method two, shading in the Gantt chart. Some states have restricted the availability of labor resources from certain local government areas. While the work can continue, the number of resources available may be less for some tasks. You can indicate the spirit of restricted resourcing using the shading in a Gantt chart approach. Go to the Bar Chart Tools Format tab. Select the shading command icon. Add the start and finish dates of the period of restricted resourcing. Select the color and pattern as well. You now see the period where restrictions are applied. Method three, code libraries. You can also use the code library to label your delayed tasks, NOD and EOT claims. Go to the view tab, select the library explorer, click on the code library folder, right click in a blank spot and select new code library. Name the library as delays, Click open the folder, right click in a blank space, select new code library entry, add delay codes, EOT, NOD, select the color and pattern you want for the EOT and NOD library entries. Go to the bar chart view, go to the project view, select the code libraries, select delays, right click, Select Display Library. Drag the desired code library entry to the bar on the Gantt chart. You have color coded your delayed activities. If you like these features and would like to learn more, please join our instructor led online classes from the links below. Registering is easy. I will see you in class.